What is up everyone? This is Gun Legacy Extreme of Toku Anime News here to give you what, the first anime review of Toku Anime News with the Super Robot Chogokin Aquarion Solar from the anime series Genesis of Aquarion. Bringing in the figure. This is just an amazing figure. I I am just in love with how this figure looks, how this figure is designed. There are just a few little flaws that I will have to fudge this thing with because it, it, it's it's probably just QC control on mine. You'll probably have a better one than me. Prove me wrong, please. But there are some flaws on mine that unfortunately cause me to have to downgrade it from my most favorite figure in my collection to one of my most favorite figures in my collection. Starting off with the detail, you pretty much have everything that makes the Solar Aquarion in the series from the from the Aquarion from the markings to the details. This thing just looks awesome and it looks just like you can actually take this apart and transform it into the vectors as well as the other Aquarions. Unfortunately, you can't. And it's not surprising. I do wish that you could at least separate them and turn them into their vectors, even if they can only then transform into back into this Aquarion. I would have liked that, but you get what you get. Now, uh, to begin with, this thing does have die cast in it. Its entire leg section right here, as well as this part, this uh, joint right there, and the shoulder joints up here are made out of die cast metal. So this thing's got a got some nice heft. And when I first pulled this out of the packaging, I was shocked. Articulation wise, this thing is packed with articulation too, though this is where we get into some of my flaws. My right arm right here, like it's tight from here, but once you start getting it lower, it just goes flappy. As well as the waist. This, that's just a floppy mess. If I have these wings back, and I try to have them in a looking down pose, okay, good, prove me wrong on camera. Why don't you? Okay, it's proving. It's decided to prove me wrong on camera. When I when I was messing, excuse that edit right there. My camera decided to do a somersault. As I was saying, when I was messing around with this thing off camera because I just got this thing today, it was not working at all. This was just deciding to fall back every time. But I guess it's tightened up, or it's just wanting to only listen to, listen on camera. Anyway, back into articulation. The arms pop off a lot also. The arms can go out about there. Bend only 40 degrees. You got an elbow and a bicep swivel. Wrist can rotate and wiggle because they're just on ball joints. The waist can turn and go up and down. And then you can actually extend it for some weird reason at this joint right here. I don't know why. Someone, if someone knows why, I'd be glad if you tell me. I actually really want to know why. But you got full rotation there. The head is unfortunately restricted. It's just due to the shape. The legs can go forwards, about that far. Back, that far. Out, only about that far. And then here's the part I love. You get a, the knees can bend about there, but then. Uh, yeah. Nice ratchety joints for the knees, for the lower half. Then the feet can go forwards and back, side to side. Rotate a full 360, toes can bend, and the heels can actually move too. The leg guards are just on a joint right here. And then of course, the other major attraction of this figure. The wing panels. Let me raise the camera up. You can spread these out, like so, pull them up, pull these forward, 
don't fall aquarium. Then spread the panels out, rotate that, and then tilt that forward, and you got some nice chrome gold. Just do it on this one real quick. Sorry if it seems like to those who know my reviews, I'm moving fast. I'm on a time restraint with Toko Anime News right now. And there you have it, the solar wings fully spread and falling off. Yeah, when these things fall off, they're a pain in the butt to get back on. But there you go, the solar wings fully spread, spread, all ready and nice looking and... Excuse the jump cut, anyway. I don't remember where I was going. Oh yeah, uh, it also does have another joint right here. You can move these. Now, unfortunately, you can't twist them forward to use them like the ray guns they were used in in uh, the current epi in episode 25 of Aquarion Evil. But I don't think at the time they had decided what those things would have been used for, or they just didn't want to give it to you. Now, this thing does come with some extra accessories. You get a set of extenders, some extra hands, a uh, stand right here, but this is not for the display of the figure, the sword that it on that it uses in the opening credits as well as in the Aquarion movie, so that you can also replicate this being the Aquarion from the two movies, and the giant fist for the Mugen Infinite Punch. Now, I won't be showing this off, only because of the fact is, it's a very annoying thing to show. You'll probably see it eventually on display if I ever do a, uh, dis a uh, collection video again. But, to conclude this, let me just get him set back up into how I have him displayed. And while I do that, I'll give my final thoughts. I'm giving this figure... I'm going to give this figure a about... I'll say a 9 out of 10. It's an amazing figure, but unfortunately some of the flaws that mine have uh, caused me to, to uh, drop this down. If mine didn't have the loose joints and my arms didn't fall off almost every time I try to pose this figure, this thing would be, again, the my most prized figure. It's still my most prized figure, but it would be number one in my collection. And I'm happy to, and, and I will be happy to say that I will be owning more of these. I can't wait for them to release uh, Luna and Mars. Uh, when I can't wait for them to release Luna and Mars, and I definitely plan to get the Golden Aquarion. So this is Gundam Legacy Extreme signing out, and I will see you all in the next video and future videos of Toko Anime News. See you next time on my own channel. And please don't forget to subscribe to the Toko Anime News YouTube channel. Follow us on Twitter like our Facebook, and check out the podcast. Peace.